Welcome to Hegarty Sports and our coverage of the 2015 New York State Boys B Basketball Championship at Fordham University, where Regis High School of Manhattan defends its title against the Park School of Buffalo. There's the Regis team, and we're ready for the tip-off. Get some play-by-play -play right now from Dan Hegarty, Henry Wysocki, and Brian Wysocki. Here's Hogan again. Hogan to Peterson, in the backcourt. Peterson, back, back to Gavigan. Over to Hogan. He takes it in, passes it off. Nice, oh, good D. Okay. All right, 11 on the shot clock. 11 on the shot clock. Hogan running out. Oh, what a look, folks. What a Hogan, tough guy, tough guy. We like this Hogan guy. Peterson to Hogan. To Gavigan. A little bit of a weave, not much. Over, over to Peterson. Oh, oh it looked good, folks. No? All right, with the rebound. 6-6. Six, six. Here we go. All right, Peterson out to Hogan. Rick's long lost brother. Uh oh. It's going to be a backcourt violation. Yep. Over and back. The Regis debaters are trying to change the ref's mind, but no. You would think that the Regians would have an edge in a debate with the ref, but no. Okay. Okay, folks. It's 9 9, a minute 35 left in the first period. Park against Regis for the New York State B Championship. This could be an all-Irish team. They have um, Hogan, Gavigan. Gavigan, I uh, think there's an Irish name too. Oh, there we go. Oh, it lo oh, Hogan. Whoa, he tried that underhand little layup, did not fool anybody. So they got, let's see who's on the team. Hogan, definitely all Irish. Gavigan, definitely all Irish. Any relation uh, to Grant 33, uh, I don't know. Peterson Kinsella, that's Kinsella. Pin Kinsella. Pin Kinsella, yes. Uh, Kinsella's an Irish name, believe it or not. I know that. I guess Mike Cerrone is the uh, token Italian, is that the idea? Is there a rule? Is, is Mike Cerrone it's replaced by another Italian? It's Michael Parrish, the bearded one. Hey, a Regis kid with a beard, isn't that against the rules? Hogan. No, that's not hair How about that? Are there hair restrictions at Regis? No, no hair restrictions. For those alumni out there, you can now go to Regis and have whatever kind of hair you want. Are there color categories, color restrictions? What do you mean? Would purple hair be acceptable? Probably. Or would one get jumped? Is there still jug. jug? There is still jug. I got him plenty what for wearing jug? sneakers. Oh, jug for wearing, wearing sneakers. sneakers. Ah, yes. <laughs> ah. I remember once well, as a parent, I was um, told that the school had a rule that kids had to wear shoes to school on Friday. And I thought, well, well, don't they have to wear shoes every day? I didn't realize that the difference was between shoes and sneakers, not shoes and barefoot. All right, a lot of talk here. Uh, we need to have like a, a promotion. Air Lingus is promoting this game. That's why all the Irish kids get so many minutes. 43 seconds left. Okay, the park school. All right, they're going to hold it for one here. Hold it for one. Read this down. 12-10. All right. Hogan taking some time off the clock. Over to Gavigan. 12 seconds left. Back to Hogan. Back to Peterson. Back to Hogan. And they're waiting. Four seconds. Oh, and he drives it. What a pull. Oh. oh, well, exciting, folks, but not good. Regis now has an L. Big improvement over 1966. Okay. Got a new player in. Who's number four? Do we know? And number... 
O'Donoghue. Shane O'Donoghue, another Irish kid. 33 is Peterson, right? He's been... Two, oh, Gavigan. Whoa! Let's go Owls! Woo! 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 Trying to start a new cheer for Regis. All right, the Parksters setting it up outside. Top of the key drive. Oh, he smashes into our boy Hogan. Looked like he was good. Leave Hogan alone. Leave Hogan alone. Let him play, ref. Come on. Let's go. Oh boy, nice strong move. And Hogan gets the ball, all right. All right, very good. There's Peterson driving strong. Out to O'Donoghue, Hogan's open. No, back to Peterson. All right, back to Hogan. All right, here we go. Oh, top of the key. Oh, there's Mr. Three Ball. Up, oh, a little short, a little short. The three ball, a new weapon. Rough game. Oh, how are you? <laughs> well, we have the fans coming in for the game. Oh, who? It's not a hero. It's a Hogan. To right. from the other side and all. all right, they're waiting for an opening. Four seconds left. A wild one. Night. Oh, way to go. Whoa, what a strong move. O'Brien. My God, they were all Irish again. There isn't a single non-Irish. Look at this. The mighty mix of Regis High School. Oh, God. What next? <laughs> You're going to be it's, getting a call from your producer about that. I now have the yeah. people who came with me moving away. So. <laughs> In this clip from MSG Varsity, you can see yours truly just over the ball handler's head with the camera in his hand. Seated next to me is Henry Wysocki, the parent of Brian Wysocki, the class of Regis 2007, who's sitting next to his dad and beside his mother. And those are the people chipping in with the rest of the commentary. All right, the Regians have a chance to catch up. Gavigan and Hogan in the backcourt. Slater O'Brien in the middle. Connor Dillon on the wing. Declan Cronin, once again, it's the All-Irish team. Oh, no. Oh, and it's a foul. Okay. Well, now, Ryan Wysocki has chopped in some interesting facts that the Regis Raiders really is, would be the team, although I've been calling them the Owls. Oh, and it's number two. Oh. The Raiders. Whoa! What a play! What a play for the Raiders! All right, and one! And one! Uh, okay, here's the inbounds play. Peterson out to Hogan. Our boy Hogan, I haven't heard from him in a while. Gavigan and Peterson on the wings. So, the Owls were not wise on that play. Here we are, guys. This is 
is what Regis looks like today. What, what are you guys, the class of what, 3,000 or something? What what grade is this? What, what class? Like, I'm the class of 66. 2015. 2015. Wow, and I heard that you can actually wear your hair any way you want now, is that right? Really? But they, they still have chubs. Yes. Really? Okay. And do you still have three hours of homework every night? Hey, Jeremiah. And how many of those hours do you really do? Uh-oh. Oh, nobody talks about it. Thank you very much. As I spoke to the owl, my friend Henry pointed out to me that after I met the class of 2015, for me to meet someone similar to them, I would have had to meet someone from the class of 1915, which didn't even exist. And if they did exist, they'd be 120 years old. Thanks, Henry. Regis down by five, with the ball out. Oh no, we have a foul line, we're going to the foul line. Declan Cronin on the line. Four point game and it's a three point game. All right. All right, Park bringing it up over the line. Park up three. Park 19 and three on the season. Numbers Cheatham, Mr. Zero. Uh-oh. Oh boy. And it's gonna be Regis Ball. North Carolina fan walking by. Alright, there's Hogan. Hogan over to Peterson. Better get it over here, boy. Better count to eight. Here we go. And there's the Saloon. Okay, Hogan on the outside. 24 seconds left on the shot clock. Oh, what a move. Surround. Got the owl in the corner to help the Raiders, the sixth man. All right, let's go. Regis inbounds. Hogan on the outside. Inside. Nice play. And we have a one-point game, folks. Declan Cronin. They got. It looks like it's Cerrone and the four lads from Erin. Bring the Regis Raiders to within one. 6.16 left in the third. We have time activities included interviews with the Owl, Regis students, and Father Judge. Who knows Bill or no, personally. Okay. Oh, he got a piece. Cheat him. This is off to Kyle Harris. Harris driving. Nice shot. Oh, he almost got a bounce. Oh. Here's oh. Bring in Donahue. And we have a timeout. Oh. Fix is the first. Wait, I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, we got Cerrone and the four Irishmen on the way. Cerrone sets the pick. Hogan drives. Cerrone drives. Yes. yes! Look at that! Whoa! Rick would have been proud. Look at that. Oh, here we go. And number 33 is driving. Look at this. What a physical game. And one. No, a walk. All right, a walk. They win. All right. 50 
60 seconds left. Ball Ball went in. Uh, gotta foul somebody. All right, they did. Okay, there was a foul call there, and now he just, he just, he just has to score. They need to try to score quickly, folks. All right, there goes Hogan. There goes Hogan. All right. And he takes a foul. All right. Reaches ball. Quickly, folks. Well, all right. Got to score Sharon. Oh! All right. 42 40. Uh... All right. Three seconds left. We don't need this ending up to do now. Three point game. Despite their valiant effort. But it made me wonder, why in 1966 did Regis not do better if they win state championships? Now, well, maybe it's because of this guy that they had to play, not to mention all the all-stars that played for Rice, including Charlie Yelverton and Dean the Dream Amateur. But at any rate, what a great game this was for us today. Every night I sit here by my window, window. Staring at the lonely avenue. avenue Watching lovers holding hands and laughing. laughing And thinking about the things we used to do Making up things Like a walk in the park things. Like a kiss in the dark like a sailboat ride yeah, yeah. What about the night we cried Things like a lover's vow Things that we don't do now Thinking about the things we used to do